Two long lines, one of men, another of women, wind around a World Food Program A distribution site in the Afghan capital, Kabul, in the heat of the mid-morning sun. Many of the people waiting for support in Quiet Rawash, a middle-class neighborhood near the Kabul International Airport airport, are Afghanistan's new poor. They used to have decent jobs. Now they lean on international aid to survive. The 3,800 Afghanis they receive from the WFP will help them make it through the month. It's calmer than it was on the first day of handouts this month in this district, Khalid Amade, a WFP coordinating partner at the site, tells CNN. Back then, on May 11, people clambered over the walls to get in. The WFP says it helped 3,000 households in that district on the first day, with each household having an average of seven people in it. Last Sunday, around 700 people waited patiently for up to two hours before their rides were checked and the money was handed over. Men line up at the World Food Program A distribution site in Kabul's Choir Awash neighborhood. Khalid Amade, a World Food Program coordinating partner at the aid distribution site in Kabul, says people are desperate. Amade says people are desperate. A few days ago, one woman came to me and told me, I want to give you my son for 16,000 Afghanis, he says, a sum amounting to about $175. She was crying. It was the worst feeling I have had in my life.